YouTube poop. Where there's smoke, they pinch back. Thomas and Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about Mama Luigi's fingers for dinner. One evening he was dozing happily in the shed, but Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas. Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Yes! Anyway, I was only pretending to be scared. I knew it was you, really. Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves the light on for you tonight. Why? asked Thomas. I quite like the dark. Oh, really? exclaimed Percy. I am surprised. I'd always thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder why. No! Did you really? Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves the light on for you tonight. Why? asked Thomas. I quite like the dark. Oh, really? exclaimed Percy. I am surprised. I'd always thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder why. Thomas decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Oh dear, he murmured. It's very dark. Oh, oh, what's that? It was only Gannon. But Percy didn't realise this. I wish Thomas was here too, he sighed. Thomas was waiting for his mysterious load at the harbour. Suddenly, there it was. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. It's a dragon. Don't worry, laughed his driver. This dragon is made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. Workmen lifted the dragon onto Thomas's low loader and put lights all around it for protection. Then Thomas set off into the misty night. Percy was asleep in his sidings and had no idea that Thomas was approaching him. You haven't seen the last of me! Help! cried Percy. I'm going to open my eyes until my driver comes. Next morning, the points were mended and Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night. Gordon was in no mood for puzzles. I'm your majesty. I don't have time for your games. When the other engines heard the news, they laughed too. Look out, Percy, chuckled James, or the dragon may gobble you up. No one believes me, puffed Percy. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But Percy soon found out that he hadn't. Help! Save me, cried Percy. It's all right, whistled Thomas. Oh, the end.